I'm here hanging out with my buddy Erica, and we're gonna play with these today. For some alcohol ink. I kind of played with one last night. Gonna have some fun. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Today I am hanging out with my buddy Eric Bauer with Artist Till Death, and we are messing around with some masks. I found these on Amazon. It's kind of like a compressed paper. It almost feels like it's got a little bit of plastic in it because it definitely holds its shape. And I thought, you know, alcohol ink might go pretty good on these things. So we were, I, I went to the side last night or the day before we were working on this not last night uh the day before we were working on this and i just took one and i tested it out and it worked fine on it and i'm like hey what do you think about doing this and she was she was all for it so i i couldn't even take a picture of the colors we used because let's just say i brought in handfuls of ink and made several trips over from her stash and we are just just kind of being buddies and hanging out and chit chatting, and catching up. And yeah, there's a lot of alcohol <laughs> on the table as you see there. Um, what we did do is we both had the same kind of mass together. There was like two of each kind of, of the, each of the different shapes. And we're all kind of taking each other's, you know, our own little unique styles. And I, what I, we both, it, I am having a hard time talking. I'm finding myself stuttering. So sorry. <laughs> what I found that helped a bit when doing alcohol ink with these is almost saturating it a bit and just to get some color on there and then I can continue to build and add more color as it went. It didn't seem to evaporate too much because of the compressed paper feeling to it. Um, but I was able to even get some of the um, alcohol that was on the uh, surface. So I would encourage you definitely to put something down on your table if you do mess with something like this because you will get some puddles of alcohol. And But you can reuse it and pick it up and reapply it even if you get little puddles of color. And, you know, everything was up for fair, you know, fair game on this. And so we are basically going and applying all all the bold colors and just just kind of playing around with it and having fun with it. Um, I did find out that the uh, metallics afterwards just kind of brushing it on either with your finger or a brush uh, when your background was nicely saturated really turned out nice. So I ended up I think that was the first time we used the gold metallic right there and I ended up adding a lot more and a lot more and kept going with it but I definitely liked it with the color behind it because it seemed a little bit more natural or make, make sense. But it was funny, I think we both had six to work with and I think each of us had one that was kind of, mm, weren't real crazy about the one, but the rest of them we really liked. It was kind of funny how that worked out. Also, um, at the end of this, we, when all the masks seemed to dry enough. We went and took a glue pen, and I'll see if I can put the link in the bottom uh, in the description. But it's a glue pen that's designed for uh, applying foils like gold foil or some of the other uh, decorative foils. And we would apply designs with those um, glue sticks and or glue pens, and then used this uh, chameleon flake that she is now carrying in her shop. And it was gorgeous. It has some really nice touches of just a little bit extra that really would catch the eye and such. So it's really, <laughs> so in the background of what's going on here is uh, Bowie and uh, Moo are her two puppy dogs, or two Pomeranians that are well known in her show, Artist Till Death. And they've also got two kitty cats, and they're all messing with each other. I think Bowie and one of the cats, the uh, the male cat, are 
good fast friends and you'll hear them terrorize throughout the or while we're working they're terrorizing going back and forth playing playing pretty hard and it's a lot of fun to hear the uh, all the shenanigans going on so another thing we found that we're doing if you notice that we're kind of dabbing colors so once we've got it saturated with color and we go to apply other colors we will kind of do a padding kind of thing like almost like a like you would do with stencils uh, and apply paint to you would kind of dab it uh, with your fingers or you could apply it with anything else but it would kind of help blend it and move it around and put it in the right the places that you want make sure you check out uh, my buddy Erica's uh, website artstilldeath.com for all the uh, resin colors it's like a one-stop shop kind of thing for resin art as well as their YouTube channel for Ars Till Death. All right, keep your eye out for a video coming up where I show you how I do this with alcohol inks. I've also got one coming up with resin. So, yeah, they're, it's a fun project. And even though I know that this is coming out right around Halloween time, there could be, you know, used for the next Mardi Gras or whatever, or even just little decorative things to hang up. Because sometimes, you know, decorating with masks and all that, like a, a wall decor and stuff, is a is a fun thing to do, too. And it, I purchased some feathers. I'm wondering if I should glue some feathers behind these things. So, super fun technique. And I will throw some music on, and y'all can enjoy and watch the rest of this.
These are super fun. Let's go over there and see her, I guess. All right. Say hi, Bowie. Bowie. Say hi. I come over here just to play with the pups. That one's looking really cool. For a try then, I got one that looks cool. What do you mean try then? I'm liking the gold streaks you got here. It's a party. Oop, this is sitting in my alcohol. Oh yeah, I put that over there in case we needed to test something. I like the gold swipe on the top. I'm gonna do some more of those like intentionally. Yeah, that one was test to see. I think test succeeded. Right, hit that like button hit the subscribe button but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up and check out my buddy's YouTube channel artist till death or her website artist till death .com. Uh, and that would be Erica and Jeff of course also check the links below in my description for any products I use as well as her link as well because that's where I usually get all my colors for my resin and, oh, there's a link for my Etsy store because uh, Christmas is coming. There you go.